Founded in 1845, the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland is a four-year undergraduate institution that strives to accomplish its mission to develop midshipmen to lead as officers in the Navy and Marine Corps upon graduation. An important component of being able to accomplish these goals is making sure that the entire brigade is well fed. King Hall, which serves as the on-campus galley, had become outdated and in need of renovation in order to meet current standards for serving 4,500 midshipmen, approximately 14,000 fresh meals each day. Kitchens to Go was selected by the project general contractor Barton Mallow to design and build a temporary kitchen complex to substitute for the galley during the projected 18-month renovation of the historic King Hall galley. Through the combined expertise of Kitchens to Go and its strategic partner Sprung Structures, a 38,000 square foot temporary kitchen complex was erected in less than 78 days. The real challenge was in building it because we had to build the facility in 90 days. The project began with Barton Mallow and its subcontractors preparing a foundation that will provide a sound base for the placement of the Kitchens to Go modular units. Kitchens to Go brought a very competent team to the project site and worked with us very closely in executing the construction of the temporary kitchen and in fact we turned it over to the Naval Academy on schedule. Kitchens to Go engineers every detail of the project resulting in a precise and cost-efficient installation. Well here we are, we're on day one of erecting our sprung structure. The sprung structure is kind of the centerpiece to the whole thing. Yesterday we built the 350 ton crane. We had to move these over 225 feet. So what we did was four pick points on every single one of them, two riggers, crane operator, about a dozen guys on the ground. We just did it nice and easy and it went real, real well. We've got three of the trusses up right now. They are running the rope so that they can put up the insulation and run their first couple of pieces of fabric. We've got a lot of work to do in the next couple of months. This is kind of the fun erector set part of the job. We'll start putting all of our makeup air and uh, HVAC and large rooftop equipment up on the top of our units. We've got five more trusses to put into place and hopefully by Saturday night we'll make the Naval Academy deadline and get our crane on the road out of here. We're about 10 days, two weeks away from this thing being ready to go. Inside the sprung structure, we've got most of our lights hung. A lot of the plumbing is in. As you can see, the cooler and freezer boxes are in. We've got some of the skeleton in for a lot of the offices. Now that a lot of the other utilities are in and the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing are in, we're starting to hang our ductwork. There's special penetrations that we can put into the sprung structure that will allow us the HVAC throughout the whole system. Standing here in our bulk storage area, which is all for the dry goods, which are your canned goods, box goods, etc. The storage was designed so we'd have five to seven days worth of food in house at all times. We've created a whole corridor system around all of the kitchen modules and the sprung structure. This is to allow an efficient flow of the food and the folks from the sprung structure in the kitchens out to the midshipmen in King Hall. I've built a lot of structures, temporary structures in my career. The flow in the temporary structure is so much better. We're feeding 15,000 meals a day out of this temporary structure. So the flow coming in the front door through the cooking process um, is much more efficient. Besides the sprung in the kitchen, there's also a 7,000 square foot complex on the other side in what they call wet smoke. That design was made for administrative offices, for Navy personnel and civilians who support the kitchen. Also in there is an area for the kitchen employees. There are locker rooms and showers and bathrooms to make their life just a little easier. This temporary commercial kitchen is fully building and health code compliant. It is comprised of 10 cooking and panning modules, which features four clamshell griddles, 12 roll-in combi ovens, six 80-gallon steam kettles, separate bulk and day-issue refrigerators, freezers, dry storage spaces, and two dishwash modules. We're ready to go. Things are in great shape. We've got all the equipment inside the sprung tested, ready to go, the coolers, the freezers, the sinks. This temporary kitchen facility that we produce for the U.S. Naval Academy is a great example of the magic of Kitchens to Go. Even with all the challenges that we faced on this program, such as limited space, a compressed time schedule, and three record blizzards in the Annapolis area, our Kitchens to Go team still finished this project on time as required. During the 10-week construction of this complex, Maryland endured the worst winter in recent history. 
with three separate blizzards hitting during our construction cycle. Despite the awful weather and logistical issues, our crew thrived on the challenges of this project, and we are immensely proud of the finished product.